records. Them. They'll overthrow you. When a president, seconds. I'm going to ask a question. When the president seeks a second term, it is generally a referendum on his record. But Vice President Biden, you like to quote one of your dad's sayings, which is, don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. And in this case, sir, you are the alternative. Looking at both of your records, I'm going to ask each of you, why should voters elect you president over your opponent in this segment? President Trump, you go first, two minutes. Because there has never been an administration or president who has done more than I've done in a period of three and a half years. And that's despite the impeachment hoax. And you saw what happened today with Hillary Clinton, where it was a whole big con job. But despite going through all of these things, where I had to fight both flanks and behind me and, and above, there has never been an administration that's done what I've done. The greatest, before COVID came in, the greatest economy in history, lowest unemployment numbers. Everything was good. Everything was going. And by the way, there was unity going to happen. People were calling me for the first time in years. They were calling and they were saying, it's time maybe. And then what happened? We got hit, but now we're building it back up again. A rebuilding of the military, including Space Force and all of the other things. A, a fixing of the, the VA, which was a mess under him. 308,000 people died because they didn't have proper health care. He, he was a mess. And we now got a 91% approval rating at the VA, our vets. We take care of our vets. But we've rebuilt our military. The job that we've done, and, and I'll tell you something, some people say maybe the most important. By the end of the first term, I'll have approximately 300 federal judges and court of appeals judges, 300, and hopefully three great Supreme Court judges, justices. That is a record, the likes of which very few people, and you know one of the reasons I'll have so many judges? Because President Obama and him left me 128 judges to fill. When you leave office, you don't leave any judges. That's like, you just don't do that. They left 128 openings, and if I were a member of his party, because they have a little different philosophy. I'd say if you left us 128 openings, you can't be a good president, you can't be a good vice president, but I wanna thank you because it gives us almost, it'll probably be above that number by the end of this term, I'm sorry. 300 judges, it's a record. Looking at both of your records, why should voters elect you president as opposed to President Under Trump? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Under this president, we become weaker, sicker, poor, more divided, and more violent. When I was vice president, we inherited a recession. I was asked to fix it. I did. We left him a booming economy, and he caused a recession. With regard to being weaker, the fact is that I've gone head to head with Putin and made it clear to him we're not going to take any of his stuff. He's Putin's puppy. He still refuses to even say anything to Putin about the bounty on the heads of American soldiers. Your son got and three no, no, no. million dollars. Sure. And Mr. by the way, Mr. Mr. my son. Mr. Wait a minute. Mr. President, your campaign agreed to both sides would get two minute answers uninterrupted. Well, your, your side agreed to it. and. Why don't you observe what your campaign agreed to as a ground rule, okay, sir? He never keeps his word. Can you add no, back, no, 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 I'm not asking. That, that was a rhetorical question. Yes, Can you Go add ahead, back sir. 30 seconds? Yeah, okay. Yes, okay. you may have. All right. Go ahead. So, thirdly, we're poor. The billionaires have gotten much, much more wealthy by a tune of over four, three to $400 billion more just since COVID. You and the home, you got less. You're in more trouble than you were before. In terms of being more violent, when we were in office, there were 15% less violence in America than there is today. He's president of the United States. It's on his watch. And with regard to more divided, the nation can't stay divided. We can't be this way. And speaking of my son, the way you talk about the military, the way you talk about them being losers and, being, and, 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 and just being suckers, my son was in Iraq he spent a year there. He got, the, he got the Bronze Star. He got the Conspicuous Service Medal. He was not a loser. He was a patriot. And the people left behind okay. there were heroes. Really? And I resent Are you talking like about hell. Hunter? Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking of my son, Bo Biden. You're talking about I don't know. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know got thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. He wasn't dishonorably. Cocaine use. 
And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. Once you None became of vice president, true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is and various not other places. True. He my made son, a fortune. Gentlemen, my son. And he didn't have a job. My son, like a lot of people, like a lot of people we know at home, had a drug problem. He's overtaken it. He's, he's, he's fixed it. He's worked on it. And I'm proud of him. But why I'm was he given tens son. of millions of dollars? All right. But he wasn't given right. tens of millions of dollars. That is totally, of that's President Trump, totally President Trump, discredited. We've already, this, we've already been through this. Totally discredited. We've, both, we've already been through this. I think the American people would rather hear about more substantial so subjects. Yes. Well, you know, yes. as the moderator, sir, I'm going to make a, I know, a judgment call here. I but three and a half million okay, dollars right. from the Let's mayor talk about, of Moscow, that Let's talk is about not think true. It's a Gentlemen, that report is totally Why discredited. Did he get it? I, I, Mitt I Romney on that committee said it wasn't worth taxpayers' Gen money, that report. It was written for political yeah. reasons. You know,